What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex. In this video, we got to talk about some very interesting news when everything is coming out today of State of Plays and Nintendo Directs and review scores for Lies of P and Mortal Kombat. This is kind of going under the radar, and this, I believe, was being reported on from Bloomberg, I think even from Jason Schreier himself. I believe it was confirmed by EA that Stig has left, and well, I just jumped the gun there. That's the news. So Stig as Mucin, and I don't know for sure if that last name is said that way but stig we'll just call him on a first name basis for the purposes of this video he has left ea and he was the game director for star wars jedi fallen order and star wars jedi survivor you might remember him from god of war the first time i had ever heard of his name and kind of remembered his name for sure was actually because of god of war 3 this guy is a legend and this guy is behind some really really amazing games and obviously kind of the heart and soul of star wars jedi you know fallen order and survivor now look I'm not going to pretend like an entire game goes off of one individual, okay? That'd be silly. There are hundreds upon hundreds of people that go into making these games, and specifically for these, you know, Star Wars games, making them extremely good. I think people are worried. I think they have every right to be kind of concerned that you having the lead of that team. So although there's hundreds of people that put the work in and made, I think, two excellent, amazing, whatever adjective you want to use, these Star Wars games are extremely good they're no run-of-the-mill games they're a step higher and although you know, there's a lot of people that you know went into that their leader is now gone so I am kind of concerned about that just like I think the internet is concerned uh, I guess one thing to kind of throw out there just to dispel anybody that might think it the third game like they're totally gonna make a third game we saw how fast the second game sold it's selling incredible and it's making them a lot of money they are absolutely gonna do the third game and to, you know finish out the trilogy we talked about that a lot when Jedi Survivor first came out. And so there's no way that game gets canceled. There's no way I think anything massively substantial, I guess, happens to the development of it. I think if it's going to come out, say, in four years, it still would, with or without him. It doesn't really matter. However, obviously, kind of the heart and soul or the spirit of that game, that is something I'm kind of worried about. Um, I'm very excited to see what he does next. He's not old enough, I think, to retire. I don't think they mention anything about retirement. I think he's just going on to a new kind of opportunity. So I wonder, you know, if he lands with some team or some studio that we already know, or maybe he makes his own. We see that quite often with kind of big name people. If they're a game director or whatever, they go and they make their own team and they make an interesting game. So whatever he does next, I'm totally in. Like I said, I've been following this guy for quite a while and he's a very talented individual and I am a little concerned. I hope that, you know, whoever steps up behind him can pretty much do exactly the same thing and, and bring the same kind of energy, um, especially, you know, when you have two games in, in a trilogy, you got two games that are already out, you know what I mean? So for me, I'm not looking for somebody to reinvent the wheel or to reinvent what these Star Wars Jedi games are. You've done two. You only have ideally one more. I mean, you could, I guess, make more after that. But I mean, focusing on the more short term, right? You finish off the trilogy. So we're not looking for a complete reinvention here. We're looking for whatever they were going to do with this third game. I hope they're still able to do it. And, you know, again, not going to pretend like it all starts and ends with him. But he is their leader. And when your leader leaves and he leaves two games into a three-game trilogy, that is, I think, in some ways a lot. Arming, but as long as they have people that can kind of pick up the pieces, I think they should be okay. I'm not like going to cry about this. I, I'm not absolutely concerned that like the game is going to be a failure now. It's just something I think to watch out for, right? We'll have to see what this actually does as the years progress. It's going to be a while until we see this game again. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.